Hello everybody, my name is Arika, doing a tutorial on the XM25 and today I have my friend Tashko here to help me out and a lot of people really don't understand this gun and I've heard people even call it like a, a, a soggy uh, grenade launcher and that's not what it is, this gun is meant for shooting people behind cover. So why don't we first have a quick look at how not to use this gun, here are some instances of I repeat how not to use the gun and how people usually use it. This right here is the majority of the reason that people think this gadget sucks and the reason that people just don't know how to use it because they, they use it as an RPG or as a grenade launcher. So instead here let's have a look at how this gun works and what you really should be doing. So let's have a look at how this gun works. So Tosh he's hidden right here. I, I can't shoot him even through this hole here. Um, but with with the XM25 I can lock on, you see the upper line of my crosshair right now, the biggest line, that is where I'll lock on with this gun. So right now I'm locked on to the distance of the crate that's right in front of him. If I aim down sights by right clicking, you'll see that I have a lock on on the left side called uh, App RST at 18 meters. Now if I fire I, the the offset is 3 meters which means that 3 meters after 18 at 21 meters the, the, the round will detonate so let's see if it works you clearly see that he takes some damage there and I, I, I kill him even though he's behind cover I, I had no chance of, of killing him before and this is useful in a couple of ways so uh, let's see how you can use it otherwise okay so for a bit more extreme scenario let's say you have some pesky snipers on top of that building once again you want to align your crosshair the first uh, or the most upper the biggest line on the crosshair you want to align that with uh, the range of the building or for the cover that he's hiding behind so that's at 230 meters and I'm gonna aim slightly above his head so that the detonation will occur above him and, and deal the most damage that way so let's go, let's take care of this pesky sniper. And we got detonations and there you have it. This gun is excellent at far ranges and it's just really good at taking care of people whom you can't really reach and it's really one of the biggest strong points of the support class. You gotta utilize this wisely. Of course this doesn't only apply to vertical uh, cover such as these these crates over here and this building. It also applies to uh, cover around walls. So here's an example. Okay so one of the most important things is that if you do not aim at the corner you want to fire at, if you just aim like this and you expect it to explode three meters away from the wall It'll just keep going. You gotta aim at the wall first and set it as your target. Uh, yep, right there. And then you can wait a minute. Yep, right there. I aimed at the wall. I don't know, something's wrong with the wall over here. It didn't register. Okay, it registers now. So, aim at the wall and fire. Because otherwise, it'll just keep going. And we don't want that. You see? It'll just keep going. You gotta aim at the wall and then quickly aim. So that's about it. Also this is a bunch of bonus clips. For instance you can use it is if a vehicle like here is very low on health to take it out if you're attacking from the rear to check corners without even aiming in. And here I saw a lot of RPG power coming in in this LAV so I figured why not help them out. And I had a pretty good angle uh, damage wise on the vehicle. And here I just thought it was a little funny, uh, I just made a little air strike here with uh, the air burst, very fitting. Uh, but it's it's not really something I would recommend this last clip here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my tutorial for the XM25 air burst. I hope, you, I hope you learned something and that I can help erase the ignorance surrounding this gadget. My name is Arika. It's been a pleasure and uh, subscribe for more educational videos such as this one and see ya.